in minutes. That's what makes the Jaws of Life a serious lifesaver in the event of emergency. However, there is more to saving a crash victim than just cutting through the twisted metal. News Channel 3's Mike Van Gorkum thought on how one group of firefighters are learning to be a cut above the rest. Cutting, twisting, and prying metal. Sounds like your typical shop class, but this class is much more. Today, Mason City firefighters trained for vehicle extrication. They've had a Jaws of Life since 1983, and uh, we're teaching them some of the newer techniques and refreshing them. The firemen learn how to use many new tools and procedures to cut a victim from a crushed car. One of the procedures is learning where to make the cuts and in what order. They talk to the golden hour of getting a victim from the accident scene to the hospital, and what we're looking at is having them more proficient at what they do so they can uh, get the people out with uh, less damage to the person. Because there are so many different ways that a victim can become trapped in a car, each firefighter must learn how to use every one of these tools efficiently. If it takes half an hour, if it takes an hour, whatever is, is important for the, the personnel safety and the victim safety. Three junk cars from Van Horn Salvage were used for the training. This way, each firefighter can get hands-on experience. The main thing we're doing is, as they look at the car, they realize the car, any two accidents are never the same. Uh, they may have different stress points going on the car, so they have problems finding their easy access. The Mason City Jaws of Life are used about 15 to 20 times each year, so learning new procedures is very important. Now, when it comes to the latest in technique, these guys are on the cutting edge. In Mason City, Mike Van Gorkum, News Channel 3. All three of the battalions of the Mason City Fire Department will take the classes, which will continue tomorrow and Friday.